Hey everybody, um, I'm back here again. I know it's been a little while from my last video that I put up, um, but I'm going to be putting up some Mountain Blade Warband. Um, the new game is quote unquote coming out soon, probably like 2017, I think, maybe 2018. Um, and I just, I really liked this game, and so I just kind of wanted to go back to it. I'm not going to play the tutorial, I'm just going to go right into it. I'm not the best at this game. Um, I think I'm okay. I've gotten. I'll let you read this after I'm not talking. Um, but I don't know. I just I really like this game. I like the mechanics. I think the new one's gonna be really good. It's gonna be having a lot of improvements, and there are a lot of flaws with this game, but it's still good. So I'm going to be male for my gender. You were born years ago in the land far away. Your father was. Um, a war veteran. As a child, your family <sighs> scrabbled out of a meager living for your father's wages as a guardsman to the local lord. It was not an... It was not an education. You learned mainly how to defend yourself on the streets with or without a weapon in hand. Uh, you started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could talk and walk and talk, sir. You spent your early life as... Um... Now, the early life thing, I've... None of these options to me are good. So I guess I just go a page of the nobles court. I don't think I've ever really usually done that one. As a boy growing up out of childhood, you were sent to live in the core of one of the nobles of the land there. Your few le your first lessons were in humility. As you waited upon the lords uh, lords and ladies of the household. But from their chess games, their gossip, even in the poetry of great deeds and courtly love, you quickly began to learn about the adult world of, the, of conflict and competition. You also learned of, learned from the rough games of the other children who ba battered at each other with sticks in imitation of their elder swords. Then, as the young adult life changed, as it always does, you became... This one's a little bit, for me, easier to pick. I usually go with the smith or... A, Game poacher. Is it a game poacher? Yeah. I threw the dissertation felt sudden to you. You somewhat are you somewhere along the way you become a man and the whole world seemed to change around you. You pursued a career as a smith, crafting items of function and beauty out of simple metal. As time wore on you, you became a master of your trade and fine work started to fetch fine pieces. With food in your belly and logs on your fire, you could take pride in your work and your growing reputation. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision? Um, so, I don't really do the personal revenge a lot, or the loss of a loved one, I usually do Wonderless, um, or these, <clears throat> I'm gonna do Wonderlust. only know you, well, only you know exactly what, what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. You're not even sure when your home became a prison, when the fam familiar became the mundane. But your dreams of wandering have taken over your life. Whether you yearn for some faraway places or merely for the open road and the freedom to travel, 
You could no longer bear to stay in the same place. You simply went and never looked back. So, I can become an adventurer and go on my destiny. Woo! Okay, so I'm going to go with realistic with no saving. And that's just the tutorial. And I'm going to name it... It... Okay, so here we're gonna do our little stats. I'm going to be a one-hander, so I'm just gonna flush all of that into there. Um, I usually like getting strength up to ten at least. Intellect is not like the best, but it's okay. Agility is okay, and then charisma is usually good near the end or end of beginning. Um, Iron Flesh I usually take if I don't have or want anything else. Trade is okay, I don't usually take it. Leadership, I think. Yeah, that increases the amount of troops you can get. I usually want that. Prisoners, i uh, usually going to have some prisoners in the beginning because you have to go after people and stuff like that. Persuasion, I don't usually get that one. Engineer, first aid, surgery, wound treatment, I usually save for my companions. Um, inventory management, I guess having a little bit of bigger inventory. I usually want one in all of these tracking, spotting, and pathfinding stuff, just so that I can find people easier near the beginning. Um, training is really good, so is looting. And so, this right here, this screen, is okay. I don't know if I'm doing like a, a game review or something, but um, you usually never of course get all of the things you want and so like after your first three levels you might get some things so like I only got um, one in writing and I think a horse is like three so it's like oh guess I can't have a horse forever and then over here you have your weapon proficiency which means if you're using that weapon it's going to increase the damage you're doing with and or quickness. Now, I usually don't worry about the character creation. I usually go, uh, hmm. I like that color. And then it's like only like three colors that you can pick. Um, ooh, I wonder what to pick. After a while, I just go like this. No red am eyes. Um, this boy. Okay, so you hear about uh, Calradia. You shouldn't have. You should have heard about another land. Yeah, this land sucks. A land torn between rival kingdoms, battling each other over supremacy. A haven for knights and mercenaries. Cutthroat and adventurous. All willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, and glory. In this land, which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key. Oh, okay. Uh, that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever choice you take, great adventurers will await you. Great adventurers. Dawn by this. Drawn by the stories you hear about Calradia and his kingdom, you. So we can either join the Swads, the Vagirs, the Khajiit, the Nords, the Rodox, or the Sultanate. Now, I usually don't go for the desert people. I don't know what I'm talking here. But the, uh, the Sultanate, I usually don't go for. Um, just because... A they like start on the very bottom, they don't get a lot of action, and they usually die pretty soon. Now, they don't die first because that's the Swads. Swads almost always get overtaken by Nords. The Vagirs usually fight the Nords. The Vagirs usually wait out until the Nords take them. The G, the Rodox, the Rodox usually take out, get taken out pretty quickly, along with the Swads. Um, but the Khajiit and the Sultanate are usually the sand people, and I usually don't like those. I almost always pick the Nords, but 
I'm gonna go Vagers this time, just because I want to see if the Vagers, if they can actually get past like turn 100 or turn I guess 200 was the last time I played and they got like wiped out. You've come through the Vigor Highlands, and that were exposed to the bitter winds from the north. The land here is frozen for most of the year, but the forests are rich with fur breeding game, and the rivers are teeming with fish. The riches of the land draw the traders, but the traders, in turn, draw bandits. You saw the occasional dark figure mounted on a... <laughs> on a shaggy pony, what? Watching the passage of your caravan from a snowy ridge, you and were glad when the spires of. I don't think I've ever seen this place. Uh, Ravidia came into view across the wide valley of the Bullock River. Continue. You're exhausted by the time you find the end in Ravidia. And follow quickly, or follow slowly quickly. However, you wake before dawn. <sighs> Professionalism, am I right? And are engaged, or and eager, sorry, to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which are still deserted. And all of a sudden, you hear a sound this, that stands. Your hair on your neck on end, the rasp of a blade sliding from its scaber. Scaber? Scaber? I don't know. So basically, this is the combat. And so, he's kind of bad at shooting. Um, but you can pull out your shield with right click, and then slice with uh, left click. Now, you can't go like, like hold your shield up and slice at the same time. You have to hold, put it down. So that was a merchant. I kind of skipped through his first thing there. Um, he's going to be taken to his, his house, and this is going to be our first quest. So let's talk to him. Now let me explain. My, I don't really care. So basically I have to collect five men, and I can come back, and he's going to give me some money. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can just click around the map to get stuff. Um, now, I've seen a lot of other people use this, and, like, they speed up the game. What you do is you hit control and then space, and you just hold down space. I searched all over to find that, and it just took me forever. Um, who are these people? Uh, Vagar Archers. Let's charge them. We're probably gonna lose, now that I think about it. Um... We will get 12. <laughs> you can see the amount. That's. I love old games, because they just. Like, back then you thought this game looked beautiful and all, but like you can see through the mountain and know where everything is. So I'm just like shooting like little shots here, not trying to hit anything. Got one. Uh, oh. Oh. We might actually lose this battle. I don't think I should have went for this. Might win this one. Nope. There you go. So yeah, at this point I'm basically losing. Yep. There. Uh, so I probably shouldn't have went after this battle. Um. Yes, yeah, so I'm taking prisoner. God. Why did I do that? Okay, so we lost our hunting crossbow, which I usually don't use in the 
early game because it's a crap range. Did we lose anything else? Oh, someone will go inventory. Uh, no. So basically I'm going to all these villages to recruit people. I'm going to go to the marketplace to get, sell that actually, sell the tools, to get some food. Um, what was, wasn't it this place? This place I couldn't say, it began with an R. Oh no, why are there looters? Oh, there are only looters, okay, there's only nine of them. So we're only going to get one renown from this battle. The last one we could have got twelve. And basically, down there in the corner, it says uh, battle average, or advantage, and then renown gained, or whatever it is. Uh, basically, the tougher the enemies, the more renown you're going to get. And, or, if it's like negative one, which means you're outnumbered, or if it's like 35, which means that it's like one versus 35. So, renown is good to the end game. Like... If you're making a kingdom, a kingdom, and or like taking the crown or something, so it's good for some endings. So I'm gonna try and save this guy here. I usually like to go for these side swings because whenever I try and go for like the overhead ones or something like that, it's hard to judge where you're gonna hit. So we're gonna get this guy here. <laughs> Their AI is not the best, and so, um, well, it is, but, like, now, nowadays standards, it's like, why'd you do that? Um, I'm not gonna take any of that. I probably should have taken the hat, but, eh. Um, oh, I should actually do that as well. Um, but whenever you, I don't know kill enough of them, or there's only a certain low amount of them left, they will start to run. I think that's a good mechanic, I guess, because some games they'll just like die and die and die, and in actuality, like whenever like you're, it's like 5v20, it's just like, I don't want to do this. I'm going to do this tournament, I'm going to place bets on myself, usually 100, but um, after that, I'll probably just end this video. God, I hate the horses. Even though they can't really do anything if you just, like, ride up on them. Oop. Oop. Doop. Doop. And doop. Okay. We'll get on your horse. We'll get on your horse. There we go. Well, you can shift and you can zoom in, by the way. So we're down there. Oh, dang. <laughs> My horse is, it should be dead. Get out of here. Oh, no. His horsey. There we go. Uh. So that's the battle. Uh, we can view the participants. We have our king, and then like just randoms. So I'm gonna place twenty dollars on myself, and then I think I'm out of money. Usually there's about like I think eight or nine rounds, and you can just place like all of the money, all of the money. You can place a hundred dollars on yourself each time, which or dinars, not dollars. Um. Ooh, I was not watching. God, I hate the great sword. It's so you can get stuff done with it, but it's you gotta yeah, like you can't get bunched up like this. Cool. Thank you. And I'm gonna kill you, and I'm going to probably die from. Oh, never mind. I gotta get on this horse. <sighs> I guess I'm on the horse now. Um, looks like Red is the last one alive, so basically I'm dead. Great. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a 
cheeky strategy here, which just means that I'm gonna go in circles slowly trying to get these guys. Come on. And step. Um, okay, so we're still in this. I think we can die once. Five dinars. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I hate jousting as well. Practice axe and also the, uh, uh, like the one handed sword. I don't like the jousting because if you ever get caught, like, at all, you're just dead. There's just no stopping it. But I guess you can couch your lances, which basically means that you're going like straight forward and you just like stab. Like, but like you would go at like 500 uh, percent, wait, your speed bonus would be at uh, 500 plus speed. So it's just like dead. So this is right here why I don't like jousting. Or at least having the pole arm is because this happens. Where you don't want to die, but you know you're probably going to have to. Just stop this. Why is he. Oh, because he doesn't have a pole arm. I see. Do I have anything else? No. No. What is this game? Oh, we got one. Okay. Ho oh, yeah. no. Okay. Come on. Just die. Damage. <laughs> Why is this so slow? You know what? I'm just gonna get off of you. I'm gonna go like over to here. I just like. Oh, okay. I guess you can. That's kind of. Okay. Sure. Get you out of here. I'm just gonna. Wait, <laughs> what is this rage? <laughs> this is so dumb. Hey, <laughs> I need a different sword. Um, like, oh, nope. Um, that's an axe. Um, cool. That's also an axe. It's an axe. A purchase sword. No, I didn't pick it up. No. out of here. There we go. Okay. So now I have enough range that I can actually use this. But I, I mean, I guess he does have a great sword, so he's going to have a better range. I think it's a great sword. <laughs> if you saw this at an arena. Just like people like going in circles, just like slowly whittling each other down. I just have to be happy to like have it end like this, just be done. Kind of, can I play some more bits of myself? Oh yeah, so we're on horses. Just a little uh, pop shot there. Not really a pop shot, but you know what I mean. Dang. Dang! Yellow. 
the other team is like beast moding. Just die. You're not even hitting me. <laughs> okay. Um. Still can't place my bet on myself. Usually, I think. Last time I played. Um. Sure. Uh, I get like random money like halfway through. I don't know why. Come on, slice them, slice them. There we go. Cheaty, cheat my way out of this game. Okay. Um. Of course. Oh. Oh, you're dead now. Maybe. Just slowly die. Just nah. Ah, peanut. <laughs> Okay, so anyone, you have won the tournament of what's his face? You filled your pride as the crowd cheers your name. In addition to honor and fame and glory, you earn a prize of 200 dinars. Moreover, you earn 1,535 dinars from your clever bets you placed on yourself. You are also invited to attend the ongoing feast in the castle. Um, I might attend that feast next. It's not like, you know, anything big. It's just like you can finally meet all the lords and stuff like that and get all your quests done or start new ones I'm gonna end this video off here guys and I might do another series or something with this I don't know I'm gonna see how I feel about this okay see you guys in the next video goodbye